What is going on, Minecraft gamers? Welcome to episode uh, 16, I think it is? I actually don't remember. Episode 16 in my Minecraft Let's Play series. Let's hop right into this. First of all... Okay, now that the rain's gone. Probably a lot of questions you guys have. Like, one, why am I in creative mode? And then two, what is all this? Why is there like giant quartz brick walls and stuff? Well, so episode 16. I had been procrastinating the uh, zombie XP farm for the longest time. And I finally just got myself around to record the darn video and like get it over with. But the recording itself went on to be about hour 45 minutes, two hours ish. And I was so tired that day, and there was so many interruptions during the recording that I just didn't think it was even close to salvageable. Salvageable. There we go. And decided to not even try to edit the video. I Okay, I did try. I got it down to like 45 minutes, but I'm not posting a 45-minute video where I'm just like tired the entire time and horrible commentary. So I figured I'd just recreate it in creative and give you a tour of the build. Now, not everything in this build is going to be exactly like it is in the world, but I'll point out which things are not. Also, if you're wondering why we have the quartz bricks around here, oh, whoops, it's because I have a lot of builds that I like to build in creative and I don't want to like show them off now because they may be used in like, you know, future builds and stuff. So I'm just going to keep it all blocked off. So starting with the top of the build here, keep in mind this entire build is underground. So this is not exactly what you'd actually see, but I chose to go with a main thing of polish and a site. I personally love how this block looks. It blends really good with so many other blocks and I just love the textures on it. It just looks cool. So that's what the stairway here where you go down into it and the walls are made of. When you first walk into here you'll notice I changed the floor to spruce planks because we couldn't just have the walls and the ceiling all be gray and the floor. It just gets way, 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 way too much. So I chose spruce planks for the floor. The chute, or the tunnel, I don't know what to call this thing. I think chutes, right? I chose to keep andesite. Because, like I said, I just love how it looks. I mean, look at it now. It doesn't look that bad, does it? Then, in the corners here, we put glowstone for lighting and carpet over it to hide it. So it kind of blends with the room well. And then for a splash of color, just because we desperately need it, a flower pot with, I don't actually remember what flower that is, but once you find in the swamps and then a redstone lamp above it. So that's almost this room done. Let's see. The roof here, I chose just to do stair, stair, then a layer of smooth stone slabs and then stair, stair, and then one more layer up. So you get some depth in the roof. And then here, I wanted to do something that would just not have it be solid walls. So I figured I'd use andesite walls and put that in here. Of course, for this to work, you have to leave a gap in the back here. So you had to mine out a little gap here to get this nice clean look. But I feel like that adds a lot of just really good depth that is needed in the room. Over here in the corner, we have a painting. Reason I did a painting there, because originally I planned to do the andesite walls here. Well, no, originally, originally, I wanted to do windows and have it look into the mob farm so we could see the, uh, what are they called? Zombies spawning. But I realized after some testing and some timing, what I do is I'd put like windows here. I'd start a timer and see how long it took for the chute here to fill up with zombies. And with the light from the windows, it ended up bleeding into here and it did decrease the spawn rate. So I figured I'll just put walls like this, like we have on all the other sides. That also bleeds light through. I mean, you can easily just see it like this and you can see the light coming through. Maybe it's just my Optifine, but 
I decided we're just going to do solid wall and then we'll have a painting there. So we get even more color in the room and it fills in that wall very nicely. Next, we have the storage room here. For the storage room, the entrance, I chose to keep this pattern up and I feel like that looks really nice. It's like a makeshift arch, but it looks really cool, especially with these uh, stairs, upside down stairs in the corner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six layers of chests. Each chest will have, this one will be for enchanted leather armor, normal leather, then of course a ton for rotten flesh, gold, and enchanted gold. Personally, I think we're going to need a lot more space for rotten flesh, at least until we get a villager to trade with, because we just have unholy amounts. Then on the floor here, I chose to do all barrels just to increase like our storage space. And that way, for instance, here we can put enchanted swords, enchanted shovels, unenchanted and unenchanted tools there for the double ups of those. Then these four chests, we can do one for carrots, one for potatoes, one for iron because they drop iron ingots, and then one for chicken and feathers. Then over here, of course, we'll just do iron armor, maybe one for iron, one for unenchanted, same with the chainmail, and then we'll have like two extra, four extra barrels that we can use maybe for like excess of anything else. So that works out nicely. For the, of course we need a crafting table in here. I mean, just every good room needs a crafting table, at least one nearby, and anvil for repairing any armor, and then we have blast furnace. So if we want, we can take gold here then we can put in, say, some coal, and we can smelt down that armor into gold nuggets. So that way we don't have so much excess gold armor, especially because we're never actually going to use it. And then disenchanter of, or what, what is this called? Grindstone. Grindstone to, of course, disenchant stuff and get the XP back for it. And then, of course, we can just, you know, put that in there. And there you go. So, hmm, in the back here, I did the same pattern, except we only had room for two walls, and then I did spruce wood, or spruce logs in the background for some extra color, and then to fill in the corners, since chests, like, don't have nice corners, I put in, and say, walls, kind of like pillars in the back. And the ceiling, I just, since we didn't have space on the sides, really, for any lighting, I chose to do all redstone lamps and I feel like it looks really nice. I, I like how it looks. So this room, very successful I think. And the roof or the edging here is quite basic. I think that's a mistake. There we go. And that leaves just the last room here. So in the last room, this is our start out here. This is the room where we're eventually going to put a villager to trade all the rotten flesh trades we get from the mob crusher. So that's why the fence gates are here to keep the villager in. And then in the room, we did the same pattern of putting glowstone in the corners for lighting and then the flower pots in the corners, but we did not, I don't think in the world we put redstone lamps. I may actually be wrong on that. Like I said, this isn't an exact replica, but it's pretty close. Then here, we have the brewing stand because we're going to need a no novice, novice, I don't know how to pronounce it, villager. And brewing stand is what they use for their workstation. We have a bed. Cat doesn't actually exist in the world. I just thought it was aesthetically pleasing, so I put a cat there. Then we have a little table and painting to fill in the wall there. Now, since I didn't want the villager to feel like it was in a dungeon, since it is kind of locked underground for its entire life, I gave it a little coral reef thing. What, what would it be called? Aquarium. There we go. I gave it an aquarium. Now, there is a difference here from the actual world. One, the coral may be placed differently along with the sea pickles and the kelp and stuff. And then two, we don't have sea lanterns. So I think I went with redstone lamps because we'd have to actually raid a ocean temple and I am nowhere close to prepared for that. So we haven't done that yet. And then 
you know, collecting the fish, not that hard. We found a coral reef already, and we have it marked on our map, I'm pretty sure. So we just have to swim up to the fish, right-click with a bucket. We get fish in a bucket, and then I forget, but I'm pretty sure you don't need silk touch for coral. If you do, we just went down in the ocean and mined. Or not mined, but, you know, got all the coral we needed for this project. Oh, whoops. Qu weather clear. There we go. And then finally, over on this side, we have a little zoo area. So in here we put lamps for the ceiling. We can s continue the pattern with the walls. Put flowers, grass, little waterfall in here. And hopefully, eventually, I want to get maybe a sheep or a chicken in here. But we haven't gotten around to doing that yet, so... Eventually, in the future, we'll get something in there. So the villager is, has friends down here. But, all things considered, I think the only thing left I have to really say is, on the stairs here, we put, like, these little spruce signs, just, to, uh... Because I thought it made a, the stairs look nice. It's like a little railing, you know? So, that's really all there is to the build. We put redstone blocks for a light up here, or to power the redstone lamps, and... Yeah, that should be pretty much it. So, sorry I had to do one of these in creative. I don't like, well, it's not that I don't like to do it, but I do prefer to do all these in survival. It's just the recording didn't turn out nice, so I figured I'd at least do a nice recording in creative that is uh, not completely annoying to watch. Plus, this will be a lot shorter. So, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and... As always, have a great day. Catch you guys in the next video.